Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be telling you about tilted molar abutment in fixed partial dentures. Now tilted molar abutments are one of the very common uh, clinical situations in especially the lower arch where you see a uh, mandibular second uh, molar or uh, the third molar drifting into the space of the missing uh, first molar. So that also if the missing first molar is not restored then there is uh, always a chance that the second molar is going to measly drift into that space and this leads to uh, inclination of these molars. Now this is this becomes a very tricky clinical situation in which we have to see that uh, if we have to achieve a single path of insertion then we need to correct the distal tilt, uh, the nasal tilt of the molar tooth. If the molar is tilted more than 30 degrees, uh, that is the angle of uh, inclination is more than 30 degrees, then uh, it is not suitable to be used as, a, as an abutment tooth for a fixed partial dentures. But if it is less than uh, 25 to 30 degree angulation, then you can use this by some modifications. Now how do we check the angle of inclination? Let us see that. Uh, first thing is you need to draw one line in the molar. Once you have taken an x-ray, you can, you can uh, see in an x-ray or you can trace that x-ray. Uh, and on the tracing paper, what you can do, you draw one line along the long axis of the molar tooth uh, like this and draw a line which bisects this line perpendicular and the angle which you get is the angle of inclination of that molar tooth. So this will give you an idea what is the angle of inclination of that molar tooth and what type of uh, treatment planning you have to do for that particular uh, case. Now there are various methods of correcting uh, tilted molar teeth and uh, so that you make them suitable uh, to be used as an abutment tooth. So if the tilting is mild, then it can be recontoured or restored on the mesial surface by doing enameloplasty. Like you can see if there is a mild tilting of the molar tooth, then all you need to do is just this, this region and then it can be uprighted. The molar uh, will be pa parallel to the anterior abutment. Now if you have a severe tilting of the molar then one of the best methods for uprighting the tilted molar is by orthodontic treatment and uh, how do you do that? You will uh, band the anterior segment that is your premolars and the posterior segment that is the molars uh, with the uh, band and you will be using a a helical uprighting spring which is inserted into the tube uh, on the banded molar and this is activated by hooking uh, it over the wire on the anterior segment. So you will be using a wire which will be hooked onto these interior segment in order for this molar to be in an upright position. If you have used this then you use an uh, open coil spring which completes the uprighting of the tilted molar. And uh, the average time which is needed for uh, uprighting the molar is around 3 months and once you have done that then you do the preparation, make a temporary fixed partial dentures because you may have to uh, grind the molar because as this molar will be uprighting it will be interfering in the opposing occlusion so accordingly you have to adjust the occlusion and once you have achieved that uprighting you will do the preparation and give a temporary uh, that is the provisional fixed partial denture and uh, temporary fixed partial denture is given so that uh, there is no relapse of the uh, the post treatment and uh, you maintain the uprighting of the molar and then you can later on give a permanent fixed partial dentures. Another thing is if third molar is present in this situation when you have uprighted this molar uh, you will need to extract the third molar so that you can have the molar in a particular uprighted position and in, you can use this uh, as an abutment for your fixed, fixed dental processes. 
Another method of uh, applying the tilted molar is by using a modified partial linear crown. Like in this situation, if you see, if there is a tilted molar, then what we are going to do, we are going to do the preparation. You know that will be more on the mesial aspect, and uh, if the distal aspect is intact, that is, there is no caries or any kind of restoration, then you can give a mesial half crown. That is the uh, type of uh, your partial linear crown or a or a, a three quarter crown, and you can prepare accordingly the premolars. The premolars are going to decide what will be the path of insertion. Accordingly, uh, you are going to uh, do the preparation on the molar, and then you can give a partial linear crown. So this part will be inserted here. This distal aspect of the tooth is left intact. In order to increase retentivity, what you can do, you can give your uh, your axial grooves or proximal uh, on the labial aspect, you can give a groove, or on the lingual aspect, you can give uh, your grooves. So that will enhance the uh, retention of your fixed fixed dental processes. So this type of uh, partial veneer crown should only be given uh, when you know that the patient can maintain good oral hygiene and. Uh, the patient has a low caries index. That is, there is no caries in this aspect. Even in the overall mouth condition, you have less caries, and that is then only you should decide onto this. If you if you find that there is caries on this uh, distal aspect, then you should go for a complete complete crown. Another method of treating a tilted molar is by using a telescopic crown. Now, what is a telescopic crown? Telescopic crown by definition is an artificial crown which is constructed to fit over a coping uh, and the coping can be an another crown which can be a bar or other suitable rigid support for the dental processes. So this is by definition uh, what a telescopic crown is. Basically you have to uh, prepare the tooth that is you have to do a complete preparation of the tooth and you are going to make a telescopic crown, cement this crown and over that crown you are going to because when you are making this telescopic crown you will ensure that there is a parallelism between the, the anterior abutment and the posterior abutment and according to that you are going to make a pattern and then you are going to make uh, your fixed partial denture. So once we have made this fixed partial denture which is having a common path of insertion then it will be able to seat completely and this will increase the longevity of your treatment. Advantage of telescopic crown is that it ensures good marginal adaptation and uh, you have a good favorable path of insertion once you have uh, cemented the scoping onto that and then you can you can have your fixed partial dentures seating over that or cementing onto that. Here also the distal surface should be free of caries or any kind of restoration in order to do such type of treatment. Another method for uh, treating the tilted molar is by using non-rigid connectors. Now non-rigid connectors are, are indicated when you have the, the, the tilted molar which is more lingually and mesially. So what you are going to do, you are going to prepare the distal abutment and according to this path of insertion, you are going to prepare on the distal aspect the keyway on the on the premolar, that is the anterior abutment. So once you have your uh, fixed partial dentures, the key is going to insert into the keyway, and this part, uh, that is this retainer, is going to be cemented onto the abutment tooth. So here you will be having a non-rigid connection. Now this type of non-rigid connectors are indicated only in a, a small span fixed partial denture. It should not be given in a long span fixed partial dentures. Another thing is the uh, non-rigid design should not be indiscriminately used as, a, as it is going to produce a cantilevering effect on this premolar. So you cannot take too much of advantage over this and uh, rely on uh, this kind of method uh, in treating e the tilted molar T. So these are all the methods which we use uh, commonly to upright a tilted molar and 
we use the tilted molar as an abutment tooth in fixed partial dentures. So we come to the end for uh, this presentation. Thank you for watching the video.